The Beginner's Bible, the Story of Easter Long ago in the city of Jerusalem, a very special visitor came to town. His name was Jesus. He arrived along with 12 of his closest friends on a beautiful Sunday in spring, riding on a donkey. The people of Jerusalem were very excited to see him, and before long, everyone in town knew that he had arrived. Many of these people believed Jesus was their king. Crowds lined the streets, waving and shouting to Jesus. Some threw palm branches and even their cloaks on the ground in front of him. Once inside the city, Jesus and his friends, they were called his disciples, headed straight for a temple. But when they arrived, they saw it wasn't being used as a place of prayer, but as a place to sell animals and for merchants to make money. Jesus was so upset, he knocked over the tables and chased the merchants out of his father's house of prayer. Now, not everyone in Jerusalem was happy to see Jesus arrive. The priests in the temple were jealous because many of the people liked Jesus more than they liked them. And more important, the priests did not believe that Jesus was the king, so they gathered together and decided that they must do something to get rid of him. One of Jesus' disciples, Judas, liked having money and he always wanted more. So, one day, Judas decided to do something bad. He went to the jealous priest and told them where they could find Jesus. As a reward for telling them his secret, the priest gave Judas 30 pieces of silver. That night, Jesus invited his disciples to a special dinner. They all came, Peter, Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, Matthew, James, Thaddeus, Simon, and Judas. It was the traditional dinner celebrating the time when God saved the people of Israel from slavery long ago. Before the dinner, the disciples were surprised when Jesus began washing their feet. They all thought that he was much too important a person to do such a thing. Smiling, Jesus explained that he was their Lord, but also their servant. He wanted to show them that it was his job to take care of them and that they should do the same thing, take care of others. Jesus then told his friends that he had some bad news. One of them was going to do something bad to him by betraying his trust and his love. He then turned to Judas and told him to leave and do what he had planned to do. After Judas ran away, Jesus passed around pieces of bread and a cup of wine. Jesus told his friends that every time they ate bread or drank wine, they should think of him. Then Jesus explained that this was the last supper he would ever have with them. But even though he was going away soon, he would see them again. And to always remember, love one another as he loved them. Jesus then led the 11 disciples outside. Together, they walked to a hill called the Mount of Olives, where Jesus then wanted to be alone to pray. He told God that he was afraid of what was going to happen next and asked for strength to do what God wanted him to do. As Jesus prayed, his friends all fell asleep. Then soldiers found Jesus and dragged him away. The 11 disciples wanted to help, but Jesus told them to stand back, that this is what God wanted to happen. Following the orders of Pontius Pilate, a governor from Rome, the soldiers took Jesus away and threatened him as though he had broken the law. All of this happened because there were some people who didn't believe that Jesus was the Son of God. Later the next day, Jesus died on the cross with a thief on either side of him. The disciples were very, very sad because they missed their Lord. But little did they know that soon a great surprise would happen. After Jesus died, some of the disciples wrapped his body in a clean linen cloth and took him to a cave to be buried. Once they placed his body inside, a huge stone was rolled in front of the cave and guards were posted so no one could get in. Two full days and nights passed 
And then, on the third morning, the guards saw that the stone had been moved. They also saw an angel sitting on a nearby rock, so they ran away. Then some of Jesus' friends visited the cave, and the angel told them that they wouldn't find Jesus inside. He had risen from the dead and was alive again. One of the friends, Mary Magdalene, ran to some of the disciples and told them the good news. Not very far away, some of the disciples went out fishing, but try as they might, they couldn't catch anything. Then a man called from the shore and told them to toss their nets over the other side of their boat. The disciples were surprised to find their nets were suddenly filled with fish. They then turned and realized that the helpful man on the distant shore was Jesus. He was alive. They all gathered around Jesus on the shore, and he told them that he had to leave soon. He was going back to his Father in heaven. The disciples didn't want Jesus to leave, but he told them that they should be happy. He had died to make up for all the wrong things that all the people in the world had ever done, and he was now going to make a place for them in heaven. As Jesus rose up into the air toward heaven, he wanted his disciples to tell everyone they met about him and about the lessons he had taught them. And as he vanished from sight, Jesus added that he would be with them forever. The Beginner's Bible, the story of Easter.